Howdy, folks. Oh, we got caught right oh, here. Oh, there are some folks uh, dropping in on us here. Welcome to Cooking Cheap. Yes, it's so good to see you again. I can't see anybody. All I see is well, just no, wait, a... You got to look, see right down that hole a right blank there. Lens. You can see them. Oh, you yeah. know, they got that new yeah. fiber optics thing oh, where yeah. we can look right into the hmm. room. I'd they're cover watching. it. I'd cover it, darling, if I were you. Especially okay. you woman out in Montana. I can't believe you'd watch us from where you are right now. <laughs> We're going to have a block party today. <laughs> oh, we are, we are, for all you blockheads out there. No. <laughs> I have a viewer recipe that's a little peculiar, but that's okay. And I okay. got one that is the recipe from hell. <laughs> <laughs> it took so long yesterday when I was trying to make this thing up to practice on it, mm -hmm. I didn't think it would ever get done. Let me do two things, and then you can just get started okay. on well, it. Well, I'm just going to start chopping an onion, so you go ahead. Oh, well, I was just going to start chopping on, <laughs> on something myself. Well, this, this what I'm going to do is Italian beef, and this is a rather peculiar recipe, and I don't know, I've not like tried it in advance, so maybe it's the greatest thing since Italian beef. I don't know. <laughs> I can tell you, first of all, that Italian beef from the deli, which is the way you have to buy it, already sliced, rare, is like... It would be cheaper to go out and buy gold, I believe. I, this stuff is not cheap. But, it, but you can make it go a long way, and so therefore. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take just some, some ordinary old, it says hard bread. I don't know what that means. But anyway, I went out and bought some just from the local deli. And uh, there it is. Isn't it real pretty? But I find the stuff is just a little bit, how would you describe it, a little squishy inside. I would say it's difficult. made out of rubber. It's like, it's rubberized is what it is. So just sort of get rid of that. I have taken some of them and split them in half. You don't have to do this. You're supposed to serve it on it at the end of the deal. But I'm going to take them and toast them a little bit while I'm cooking everything else. I'm going to throw that in there with it. And I hope it doesn't burn from here to Dixie. But I'll be honest with you, don't care. Now, oh, now first... <laughs> Next thing that happens is we got to take some ordinary, some wonderful spaghetti sauce right off the, this calls specifically for not homemade spaghetti sauce. You can make your own spaghetti sauce in about three minutes, but no, what we're going to do is we're going to go to the supermarket and get some of the ready-made stuff with mushrooms. And the first thing we got to do is we got to start heating that up. So we're going to take that, it says it calls for a small jar. I think that's a small jar. So I'm going to take that and heat it up. It seemed to work out pretty well proportionately. And while we're heating that up, then what we have to do now is take uh, a pepper and we're going to clean that up and slice is that it. That's some into, of doctor's people. <laughs> yeah, some of doctor's people, Dr. Pepper and some of those folks. But we're going to take this, we're going to slice it into thin real little thin slices and we're going to throw that into that to cook just a little bit although the one i did today i didn't even have time to do that i just put little thin little slices and stuck it in there between everything else and let's hope it gets done but hey it's it's i mean what you can eat these raw and they don't kill you you know it's interesting oh. so right now that's what i'm going to do i'm just going to start doing real little thin slices of these things and that's all I'm going to do for now. Now back to Mr. Johnson. Oh, well, thank you so much, Mr. Bly. We sound like end men in a minstrel show. All right, now what I've got here is some good olive oil. And we're going to put, you know, this is healthy oil, folks. For those of you out there with heart trouble, you want to use olive oil now because it's polyunsaturated oh, and real good for you. Don't mention heart trouble to me. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh that's right. I, I got forgot. that treadmill oh, test in the morning. That's, that's all right. I need Bly, to do. You yes, about it's that. true. Bly is caught up with me, and the <laughs> old ticker is gone out you. on him. <laughs> you never even began to stay on the treadmill well, as, all, as long as I well, did. What's the happened other day. is they, they searched around the other day no, and no, discovered didn't Bly didn't have a heart. <laughs> I knew it was coming. And we saw today he came in the stadium. The station the here stadium. skipping along singing if I only had a heart uh -huh. like Bert Lahr. All right anyway that one tablespoon of olive oil and this is a medium-sized onion that has been finely chopped and I might say finely both in quantity and quality oh, right here sake. by yours truly. Jeez. Seems like right smart of an onion but it was truly just a medium onion. Now you say that this is a, a low-down recipe. Why do you say that? What is this? It, yeah. Well, it tastes uh, all right, but now, it, well, let me ask you something. You have never told anybody, to my knowledge, what this is, and I want to know what it is and why it is. What well, does it mean? Well, it's Reese Abisi. Reese Abisi. <laughs> uh huh. 
Uh huh. Brown Reese obesity. What does Reese obesity mean? Rice and peas. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's all it is. That but, was easy. Uh huh. Very. Now you you're gonna cook these onions until they brown, get golden brown. So you don't want them just to be limp like we usually do. So while they're cooking, woo! That is fragrant. I'm going to measure out my other ingredients so they'll be ready when the call comes. Now, I've got some brown rice here. And, you know, this is rice with the, uh, the bran still on it. And it's a long grain rice. And that's a cup, so that's what we need. We've got a cup of the brown rice. And we've got to have several other things ready to go when the call comes. When the call comes, why are you leaving us soon? Some chicken broth. We've got to have three and a quarter cups of chicken broth. So with this very fine can opener. Can oh, I can I tell everybody something while you're well, go ahead. cans? It won't take but just a second. I need another bowl just about like that. While I'm waiting for, for this stuff to heat up with the uh, green peppers in there, uh, I'm going to make some deviled eggs. I have no idea why, but I'm going to make some deviled eggs. Well, And that's all. So I'm just going to spend the next few minutes making deviled eggs. I don't know why. Oh, I hope I didn't get any of that in your hair. You did, you worthless scum of the earth. Oh, why does this recipe, this uh, can opener has a, a name on it. It says Ford. <laughs> Doris is no dummy. She's going to make sure she gets this one back. All right, now we've got two cans. Now, I need to put a little more juice in because that doesn't, three-eighths are 24. That's three cups, oh, and a quarter no. cup is what? It's a fresh egg. <laughs> oh, so I have now got in here 21. I, I need about a half a can of, of water here. I just hate peeling fresh eggs. Oh, fresh no, I don't believe eggs. it. Look, they put an aerator on the spigot. All right, now, this put water aerator on, on my spigot. spigot. Anyway. Now, don't forget your onions. you got to stir them around. They're going to have to brown for about five or six minutes down uh, in here. Uh, egg can, number three. I'm going to tune this I know down. that everybody thinks that what I'm being I dumb done? when I say this, but I really don't know why I am doing the eggs. Well, I mean, what else would you be doing if you're not? I just brought them along. Oh. I had things I had to get done later in the week. Now, now I'm heating this chicken time. broth up until it's fiery hot. Uh-huh. Well, you seem to be spending a lot of time bending over looking under well, things. Well, I know. And i got to have a half a cup of vermouth. Well, this sounds like a right high-powered, high-fluting thing here, this Reese right. Abisi. That oh. one's empty. And this has got to be dry vermouth. So there we are with the vermouth. And let's see if I got everything. Oh, and the garlic. Where is that garlic? Here it is. I got to have some cloves of the young garlic to go into it after a while. Oh, I'm just working away. I'm uh, just taking well, my good old time. I'm doing eggs. Well, those eggs are real pretty. Thank you. And Thank what, you. what are you going to do with them? I have no idea oh, what well. I'm going to do with these eggs. Well, they look I like don't even know why I'm doing these eggs. Because that woman said do them to send in the recipe. She says, have some eggs on the side. I have no earthly idea what these eggs have to do with this recipe. And not only that, but it says that I'm supposed to put together a, a relish tray. I don't well, know what I, any of this means. Well, I hope you do. Well, I relish the opportunity. Oh, no. Oh, this one, wouldn't you know, the last one. You got to have three-day-old eggs, ladies and gentlemen, and these were just laid minutes Freshly before laid. I got here. <sighs> oh, and this garlic just wants to cling to the knife and not be minced. You gotta ha you gotta mince your garlic, boys and girls. And I'm just mincing for who laid the rail. Who? Now let's see. I gotta get all of this. Oh, I'm gonna have garlic fingers tonight. This last egg didn't go so good. Uh. Looks right bad. Oh man. All right. Now there's my minced garlic. Now my onions. Oh, it's got an aerator I, on it. I said that. 
Now here are my onions and they're golden brown, golden, golden, pretty and brown. And to that I'm now going to throw in the Got an cup of on. rice. Now if anybody's wondering, I'm just making ordinary old deviled eggs up from my mind, just the way my mammy and pappy taught me to do it. I'm oh just, no. <sighs> was, not, not well we know eggs. what's going on in that mind of yours and I don't know. Worries me when you make up stuff from your mind. It's just something I'm gonna do. I bet I gotta don't get, know where it's been. I gotta get back to my recipe here in a second. Why not well, I do that well, right? Well let me now? just tell everybody that I'm doing this like you do rice aroni. You know, you know, you the do it. San Francisco tree? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well you're shaking it around a lot? Yeah, you just do it around in the oil till it browns a little bit. And okay. then we're gonna add the vermouth to it. All right, now here we go. Now we have been boiling along on top of the stove or heating on top of the stove, combination of I'm our heating on top of the stove. Another singing jack. <laughs> Uh, all right, let me cut this off. Uh, we've had, I forgot what I was going to say. Well, anyway, take just a, a, a little casserole dish. <laughs> Look at this. There's enough here to feed 700 Fox's people. Army. And you start layering this stuff. I thought stuff. you had to cut it into strips. No, you don't cut this into strips, do you? Well, yeah, sure you do. It says slice the peppers in strips. Perhaps uh, Mr. Johnson should pay attention to his own recipe oh. and leave Mr. Oh, Bly alone. Oh, wait a minute. I, this was supposed to be macaroni. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now what we're going to do is we've laid down the layer of beef. That'll teach him to keep his snout out of my area over here. Okay, and now you put uh, some of the uh, wonderful sauce uh, on that with the uh, little pepper. And then we go back and we put another one. This makes an awful lot of people feed 600 people. Biggest mess I've ever seen in my life. Well, Larry, now while I, now my How rice get it is out browned, I don't know. My rice is browned and I'm going to add this half a cup of vermouth to it Woo! and bring it to a fiery rolling boil. Now don't ruin the vermouth. <laughs> I don't want you ruin a good and vermouth. For all you alcohol non consumers out there, remember this is the alcohol cooking off right here, so there will not be uh -huh. any alcohol in. Uh -huh. Let me get over there real quick. <laughs> now, here's what you do now. I've laid down a second layer of that, and then you take the rest of your sauce and you put it on top and spread it all over like that. And then you put this in the <laughs> oven. This is a real tricky recipe. I hope you can keep <laughs> up to it all. And then you put this in the oven at 350 degrees for 30 minutes. I have a real fake one in there already. Now, while that is baking, then you have to get your relish tray ready. <laughs> and right. I'm working on that right now. All right. Well, and I'm about to throw in the garlic. The towel. This was a uh, <laughs> some a minced clove of garlic. I used two because I like garlic, and they were little. And they go in here now with the vermouth and the rice and the Take onion. that home for the children. <laughs> oh, those no. cats eat better and better. <laughs> you take that home and I get to take home I this I get this here this evening. <laughs> what? Reese or BC again? No, well, anyway. All right, now my vermouth is boiling away in there. And I have to add to it the hot, to it, the hot. To it, to it. All right, let me turn this up here. I gotta have my, the secret to this thing is making your chicken broth hot. It's got to be fiery, boiling hot. Uh-huh. Uh-huh, like uh -huh. they used to use on Larry when he was bad. You know, they would wash his mouth out with boiling liquids. All right, I'm gonna start making up a little Deviled egg here. I'm gonna just take a little salad it's dressing. It's that old deviled egg that oh. I see in your eyes. You know, I was watching our show recently. Uh, <laughs> oh, well, that's I unusual. Never do, but I, I, I broke bed, and, and so I was watching the show. Little Grey Poupon, the secret of my eggs. And I noticed that I do talk about putting people's <laughs> eyes out all the time, and Johnson sings all the time. I don't know what it is. Well, it's because I'm basically happy and positive all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a break. Cruel. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a break. <laughs> or I'll break your neck. Well, why do you think that woman out in the lobby that answers the phone has only got one eye? <laughs> 
I sing, I make people happy. They're all laughing, enjoying them. Uh, but Larry goes on boing, like the Three Stooges. <laughs> Boy, I, I hope this is as good as it looked. <laughs> Now, everybody, my chicken broth is <laughs> boiling. It has come to a rolling boil. A rolling boil. And I'm going to pour it in here into the rice. Mm -hmm. Do, do, do. And I need a knife, a regular knife. Now, at this point, you have to let your rice go for a while. So while it's going, Bly, and you're deviling, why don't we call in Sister Brit, and Tootsie? Though? Bread's and perfect. get them to get everything going. Oh, are the course. cook girls here yeah, today? Yeah, they're here today. Well, the long... And they're going to tell us about another one of those famous inventions from back in the old days. You know, you remember them so well because you lift them and tell us all about it. Uh -huh. So here are the cook sisters to tell us. Hey! Huh? Dukes! What? Look at this. I was messing around, I found this in the drawer. You remember what it is? It's a nail filer. No. You stick your finger down in there and you rub it back and forth. Oh, you silly Used fool. to do my nails that well. No, it, it's a nutmeg scraper. See, you put your nutmeg in there and this thing holds the tension down onto it and then you scrape it up and down along here and the nutmeg goes all over Kingdom Cup. <laughs> wow. Hmm. Yes, sir. It's one of the finest inventions we had in our old kitchen. I'm Sister Cook. And I'm Tootsie Cook. And, and we're, we're the Cook, Cook Sisters. I want you all to see this lovely presentation that's unfolding before your eyes. Look at these. I wish I had a little paprika to throw on top of it, or maybe a couple of sprigs of uh, maybe some kind of an herb to throw on top of it. You know, like parsley or so. Do you have any have parsley? Some, no, I'm, oh no, you're going to humiliate me. We were, I was supposed to get some Isn't it lovely? out of the yard and I forgot to get it. See, now I made that come oh, out exactly. Oh, wait a minute, here's some parsley flakes. Oh, I don't want parsley well, flakes. Well, I'll take it. Take anything How pretty I can would get. that be, parsley flakes on top of, ugh. Doris, we did have oh, some. I'm looking be, to see if we got to some go to paprika. Not anymore for dinner. Now there we go, that came out perfectly even. Now here, let me give you a little hint about this. If your eggs all have two halves, they will come out to be exactly even, just like this. <laughs> Harold liked it. I like having Harold around, he laughs no matter what I say. I like Harold. Now, next thing I gotta do here, having done that, this recipe wears me out and none of this has anything to do with the recipe. It's just all extra stuff. Now see, we're putting together a fine little relish tray. The what pap I'm looking for the paprika to help you out, boy. I'm I just trying to help you. I don't you. think we have any paprika. I don't believe we do. I think paprika left during the war and never came back. Well, I don't have anything to get this out with either. I don't know what I'm doing with everything. I'm sorry. Wow. I have a fine little presentation of things here that I'm going to throw into the center of this, as well as the obligatory relish itself. <laughs> Paisley Farm <laughs> dill spiced party pack. Oh, isn't it pretty? Uh -huh, Look, and there's is. a Brussels sprout, a real live, honest to goodness. Look at that, isn't that let me, let me try one of those. What, the Brussels sprout? Yeah. It'll give you, well, all right, go ahead. Mm. What do you think of it? I, I haven't tried one either. It is real good. <laughs> it's right snappy, don't you think? Tart. I believe it's got quite a bit of alum in it. No, no, it's just tart. Just tart. tart? Her face naturally draws. Now, I'm going to stick a little sweet relish down in here, uh, too, because I wouldn't want you to be without <laughs> relish. relish. Oh, no. A Here's relish, relish tray without a relish. A relish tray without relish. I mean, give me a break. Now, isn't that lovely? Now, you know that's pretty, and watch it go around. <laughs> Look at that, isn't that lovely? <laughs> you can make it go around too. You can even make it go the other way. Isn't that amazing? So there we go. Now that gets served along with, meanwhile, oh, I just happened to remember. Oh, this well, is terrible. Well, you go ahead while I add oh, the this rest is of the stuff to this thing. Ooh, my Ooh. bread's gonna burn. Well, get your pothole. Well, I don't have one. Well, open up one of the, oh, no, there, oh, no, not the desiccated pig. Put that back in <laughs> All right, now, to my dish, you add a package, a 10-ounce package of fancy little green peas, 
but this is actually only after you've allowed your rice to simmer and stew and everything else for 35 minutes under cover, which we've not been able to Woo! do under cover of the night. Very hot. Then you're going to add a couple of tablespoons of fresh parsley, which I would have had if I could have remembered to bring it from the house. And you need two tablespoons of fresh chopped basil, which was unavailable here yesterday. So I'm going to use about a teaspoon of dried. That goes in there. And some salt. I got to have uh, pot holders too. What do you need? I'm using about a teaspoon of salt. And I'm going to use some uh, pepper here. If I can. Pepper? If I can get it open. While you're doing that, I'm going to take this lovely bread. Oh, yeah, we need to look at the oh, recipe. Good grief. I'm going to put the bread There's on no the plate. No for the wicked. So it'll be ready when I get the stuff out of the oven. Now the recipes look like this. For the uh, Italian beef. Uh-huh, the uh -huh. old Italian beef. Uh, <laughs> one and a half pounds of rare roast beef. I think it's quite a bit. I'm totally messed up in that. Oh, you got I'm me sorry. tangled up in your <laughs> one small jar of spaghetti sauce with mushrooms. One large bell pepper. I got one that had a good ring to it. And then, <laughs> and then and there then, was. And then, and then, oh, the brown rice, three C of BC. A tablespoonful of olive oil, a medium onion, finely chopped. One cup of brown rice, a half oh, cup of so dry vermouth, make sure it's dry, three and a quarter cups of boiling chicken broth, one clove of garlic minced, one 10 ounce package of frozen tiny peas, two tablespoons of finely chopped fresh basil, as well as the same for parsley, salt and pepper to taste, two tablespoons of ground parmesan cheese, which is going to get stirred into it. Now, let me get over here and pull this out of this fiery hot oven. Oh, I'm, now I'm hung up over here under the counter. <laughs> <laughs> oh, These I got to get my. Here, let me have those too. pot holders. <laughs> These miserable, worthless, low-down microphones. Three, I will live through three more minutes. I'm going to try a little of this bread. This looks real good. Mmm. Well, crunchy too. All right, now here is the Reese ABC. Ooh, it looks pretty. Uh, hey, it really does. I like it. And you have to add to it two tablespoons of Parmesan cheese. So I'll just put. Several. What'd you do with the holders? They're right over here, so uh, they don't burn my little baby hands. We don't have I'll give you two? some more. Here, here, you can have them. Take uh, them, but uh, I gotta have them back. Now let's. Uh, I can't bring them back. Let me stir. Oh well, you. Well, suit yourself. No, I'm only kidding. Hmm. He means it, ladies and gentlemen. All right, now, and uh, where? Let's see. Where is Miss Witch? I don't know. She said she had something special. Whoa! Today, <laughs> pretty incredible. Oh. Woo! Did you see that? Went right. It was like 3D. No, oh, do it again. Swear. 3D. <laughs> Next to camera. All right. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> she right. looks like she's really here. Oh, here she comes and again. Here she comes again. <laughs> She's getting more time than we right. are today. Dear boys, yeah. the little witchlets and I are uh -huh. moving into a new home over the cabinets next week. <laughs> I've always wondered what a witch house warming would be like. I mean, what do you give a witch who has everything? Uh -huh. And it's signed, Miss W. Well, I swear. Well, we'll have a housewarming party next week for the old girl. And Can't, well, there I gave you. All right, well, let me uh, take this on over here to the table. Oh, me. I think this meal is going to take forever to serve. Well, it, I've been bringing <laughs> stuff over here for about 20 minutes now. I think I got, oh, I forgot my holder. Well, there. I, I mean, I forgot my thing to serve it with. Maybe I should have been bringing it over 25 minutes you ago. You know, these are examples of recipes where you can make up a large quantity of stuff to carry with you to the block party. Now comes the big question of the day, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> regarding this recipe. Give me one of those <laughs> deviled eggs. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> How do you get this stuff out? Dig a little deeper. <laughs> I think you just have to go in and go for it, Blind. That's not working. Well, here, use your fork. I'm going to use my That's fork. That's why God gave it to you. Doris gave me the fork. Oh. God didn't give me the fork. He thought about it, though. Oh, that it is, is so as you pretty. Can see. Now, that's a raised to plant. <laughs> you can see it's a beautiful presentation. Oh, well, here, let me get you 
some relish from off the tray. That one's got my thumbprint on it. Oh. I'm sorry. There's just Here, no way. People are just signifying furiously. Oh, I know. They are. And oh. I can't help it. I can't well, get it served. We'll let you know how it is. It looks good. Eat it. I, I beg your pardon. I, I can't. I oh, can't the rolls have. Oh, Not no. Out. We don't eat it that way, <laughs> fool. You don't eat it that way. Mm. You cut it.